Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Skull is an a tray gangster crip, which is rolling 60s rivals. I'm left here in these niggas' neighborhood, homie. Uh, my behavior and way I conducted myself, you know, left an impression upon them. I don't know nobody. I don't know nobody. But I'm fearless. And, 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 I, and, I'm, and I'm looking and observing and paying attention. So they befriended me. Uh, and, 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 and we became pretty close. So I know they feel some kind of way about the things that I say. But they not on this journey with me. See, a lot of people get left behind. Man, I done been around the world twice in one year. In, in knowledge. In knowledge. So what I speak on, I speak on what's against us. And when, as, a, as a black man who work with children as a youth advocate, when I look out into American society, the greatest problem we face in this country is gangs. That's our number one enemy. Our number two enemy is fatherless homes. Wow. That's our number two enemy. I think a lot of times, like I say, when I when I hear people criticize or talk, they don't do their research properly on who you really are. They look at the most of them are gravitating to you for the truth. But there's a lot to Charleston White when it's a lot to unpack when you're looking at the whole, you know, movement, the whole evolution. You got to be real. You got to be in, in tune to be able to see it, man. They, yeah, they're man. not ready for that. Yeah. You got to stop what you're uh, doing. No, you don't. Uh, well, no, I, I, you don't. I, I'm willing to be a bullshit nigga anytime, right? So uh, at any time, I might just say anything because a motherfucker asking me a stupid question. So what what they see is they see me on social media reflecting what's before me. They see me on social media. I'm on here trying to talk about an issue. But as I'm looking, I got people before me. Fuck you, bitch ass nigga. Fuck you, snitch ass nigga. So rather than me trying to be righteous in my speaking, I reflect our culture back to us. Meaning, if I get invited to speak at a country club, I don't talk nigga talk at the country club. If I get invited to speak at the Texas Parole and Probation Annual Conference, I don't talk nigga talk. But boy, when I'm in front of black folk, I'm talking nigga talk because they don't understand nothing there. Nothing else. Yeah, they don't, they, they don't understand nothing there. So, but what they want is... They want you to speak to them in the manner of which their mothers raised them. They want to be coodled. That's why most black people can't handle the truth. Normally, if you tell a black person the truth, y'all end up fighting. Yeah. So people avoid telling us the truth. Yeah. Our mothers, our sisters, our brothers, our friends, our coworkers. Because if you tell us the truth, we might hurt you. Wow. Wow. Man. Charleston White, man, another, hey, man, this one right here, boy, hey, I, 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 every time, I, you don't miss with Charleston. That's a good one. Yeah. You, you can't miss with it, man. And everything that you do, man, I, like I said, everybody need to stop and tune in because it's some truth that can evolve. It can, it can, it can you can get something from it. Yeah. See, see, a lot of people talking, you can't get nothing from it. I said this the last time we interviewed. You got to get with somebody you can get something from, man. And I know you say, hey, man, I ain't here for you here for the youth, really. Yeah. That, that's what I know what you stand for. And that's what we should all be standing for, because that's what really matters. Yeah. Uh, everybody who got a problem with what I do and what I say, nine times out of ten are poor. Mostly are miseducated. Ninety percent are uneducated. And ninety nine point nine percent of them don't do a motherfucking thing in the black community. So I don't give a fuck about what a motherfucker say about me. You ain't done what I done done. You ain't done what I done done. And I'm a bad motherfucker at this. I'm a bad, and I know it. I, was, I walked downtown at city council meetings and city hall around white folks. 
as if I'm bad. Most niggas get around white folks and can't even talk. Most niggas get in front of a judge and can't even stand up straight, hold their head up, and talk with confidence. So I keep telling everybody, if you watching me and you feel some kind of way, you've been played. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.